Good morning, fellow rippers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to beautiful Central Florida. Mick here with Grip It, Rip It, Chip It. Back out on the course today, playing 18 holes, and I am mono a uh, course all by myself. Hank had to work today. I was normally going to, I was off because I was going to be up at my daughter's graduation, but since the COVID 19, they're not having a graduation, it's all virtual, so I get to go out and play today. So it's just me against the course. I'm going to try to make it my game improvement day where I try to really concentrate, hit the shots that I need to hit, focus on hitting the ball first. I'm at Willowbrook Golf Course in Winter Haven, Florida. So, probably film about three or four holes just to see how we do. Nice easy swings, try to really focus. First hole, par five, I'm right in the middle of the fairway. Looking good so far. Been working on a new grip for my driver. A little bit stronger grip so that I get, I got 235 left. A little bit stronger grip so I get a little bit straighter trajectory. So we'll see what happens. Pretty good, how you doing? Here you go, back in play. Have a good one. All right, so that one, I just hit a nice nine iron, caught it perfectly clean, perfectly straight up the fairway. So, so far, hole number one, I got a good drive down the middle of the fairway. Second shot was a good shot down the middle of the fairway. And now we got a shot to the green. Hopefully I can keep this going. I'm trying to really focus on nice, smooth swing. Straight arm on my backswing, not as big of a backswing. Clip the ball clean. That's what I need to get better at. Especially this next shot here is a short one into the green. I need to get these closer than I have been. Like, so, so this is that hard part for me in between clubs, 84 yards. I got to be able to get these up closer to the green than I have been. So I'm gonna put this back here, see if I can catch my shot. And that should be about a 56 degree. Not a horribly hard one. Got the wind helping a little bit, so. Just gotta get this up on the green and give me a chance, you know. So nice easy swing. Less back swing, clip the ball and it should be good. It's in the front of the green too, so it's probably shorter than the 84, so I'll choke up just a little bit. Put it back in my stance a little bit so I make sure I get the ball first. I don't know if it's going to make it. Oh, yeah, it did. Right up on the green. So that's, this is a par five. That's my third shot up there on the green. Sitting right there. Flag down here in the front. So this will be a birdie putt. We'll see if I can make it close. I like the start so far. I don't know. Wow, start the day off with a birdie. I'm so glad I had the camera rolling on that. Hit the pin and in the hole for a birdie. Hank never would have believed me if the camera weren't rolling. Oh. After two holes, I'm sitting at one under. Amazing, That's that never happens. So now I'm at this par three. What we have here, you gotta carry the little trench of water. It's saying 152 yards, but the wind behind us, pretty good help. Normally that's a nine iron for me, so I'm kind of stuck in between what I'm gonna hit. Nine iron, and just let the wind help what it's gonna help. Or should I hit the pitching wedge and let the wind try to help take it? But I think I'm gonna go with nine, just because it's a little bit far from my pitching wedge, and I don't know that the wind will help that much, so we'll see what happens. Oh, 
I hit it clean, a little little push. So I think it's going to be on the front right of the green, so that's not too bad. I'll at least have a putt. Putting up the hill, it's a long putt, but putting up the hill and maybe have a chance at saving a par here. Here's what we got. There's my ball. There's where it hit right there. Bounced forward just a little. And then I got to go all the way up the hill there to the flag. So 9 iron was a good choice. I'm glad I didn't hit the pitching wedge. I wouldn't have made it. So, Rippers, these greens are running a bit on the fast side. I didn't practice any on the uh, pr practice green before I came out. Probably should have. These things are pretty fast, but that was actually a pretty good lag up putt. Got pretty close. Not too bad. All right, we're at four, uh, par four, number 16. It's like, uh, I think, 420 yards. So you need a pretty good drive here to get a chance to the green. And it's into the wind once it gets above those trees. It's, the wind's coming back at us, so Let's see if we can get a good drive out there. Oh man, that took off, but it pulled left. I think it'll be okay. All right, it actually ended up not too bad. I actually do have an opening to the green. It's down here in the rough. So we'll see if we can put a good shot on it. It's still going to be a couple hundred yards away, so it's not the easiest of shots. I'm going to wait for these people on the right to clear out just so in case I shank one or something, I don't take somebody's eyeball out. Cut it clean and it's fading back towards, but it's not going to be quite far. So, for everybody watching, if you're having a hard time making good contact with the ball, might be a good idea to film yourself. See what kind of backswing you're getting. See how how your left arm is, if it's staying straight or not. I feel like mine is today, but uh, I'm guessing it's probably not. I'm probably going still too far, but it's a lot shorter than I used to do. So it might help you if you film yourself, see what your backswing is doing, and see if you're taking too big of a backswing, you might want to shorten that backswing up. And if you want some help and tips on that, there's a guy online, his name is Tom Segudo. He does Tom Segudo Golf on his YouTube channel. That's where I've been watching to try to get better backswing and follow through through the ball to hit it better. And it's, it's helped me. So if you, if you think you're having trouble with that, maybe you need to check out Tom Segudo. So, that's where my ball hit, and that's where it ends up. A little bit of mud on it. Here we got the pin kind of short on the green. So we'll set up right here. I'm going to chip it. I'm going to pull this in closer to the where the pin is. We'll see how close I can get it up there. Hopefully, close enough for a tap in par. Or chip it in for birdie. That would be cool. Not too bad. Leaves us a little putt for par. 
probably about a four, four or five footer. Hopefully I can make that, save a par. What are the chances? About 10%. What's the hope? About 100%. Should be just left edge, up the hill a little bit, give it enough to get there. Drop it in the high side, hopefully not the low side. Well, dropped it in, <laughs> dropped it in the low side. All right, rippers. So that was a nice par four there. Good drive that pulled left just a little bit but I had an opening to the green, around the telephone pole and through the trees. Hit a decent five hybrid that didn't quite make it. I think it got up in above the trees into the wind a little, knocked it down and maybe caught the top of that tree so that kept it from getting there. But it was close enough, I got a nice little chip shot. We hit it pretty clean and got it up close to the pin, or you know, five feet or so. And then hit a decent putt, although I did drop it in on the low side of the putt not the best way to do it but I ended up with a par so let's take a look on this the challenges are on the holes that I was wanting to do a par five number one I got a birdie for only birdie so far today but it was a birdie and then on number three the par three we got a par and then on the 16th par four we got a par so overall, not too bad. The rest of my day, I've had a lot of pars and a good number of bogeys, but no double bogeys, nothing worse than a bogey. So overall, so far, this is the best round of golf I've ever played. Bar none, com completely guaranteed. Not only in score wise, but in just hitting the ball wise and not having double bogeys. And the sad thing is I had a bogey on two holes where I, I chunked a chip shot. If I wouldn't have chunked those chip shots, I could have been pars on those holes. And that's sad to think that you chunk a shot and, it, and you give up a shot like that on a hole and you could have parred it. But overall, not a bad day of golf. I got the par 5 17th and the par 4 18th to go in. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button and subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget that we have the giveaway going, trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you like the videos and you subscribe, share it with your friends, family members who might be interested in golf. See if they can get subscribed as well. Once we get to the 100 subscribers, we're giving away a set of Golf Kicks shoe cleats. And I'll see if I can show you mine. They're holding up tremendously well. These things work awesome. My shoes are now golf shoes. Repurposed. These things were going downhill, and now they're perfectly comfortable, good golf shoes with these Golf Kicks. So 100 subscribers, we're giving away a set of those. Everybody that's a subscriber at the time, eligible to win them. Whether you play golf or not, you can win them to give away as a, as a gift to another golfer if you want. And if you're going to subscribe, hit that bell notification so that when we come out with new videos, you'll be alerted and you won't miss anything. We'll see you soon. And goodbye for now. We'll see you next time.